The Sony Alpha 1 Mark II is here, and their flagship camera has evolved with many features that photographers and videographers are going to be excited about. Welcome back everyone to Alpha Universe. My name is Miguel Quiles. I'm a Sony artisan of imagery, and I was fortunate to spend nearly three weeks shooting stills and video with this amazing camera. I'm going to tell you all about my experience with it, but first let's cover the headline features of this camera. The Alpha 1 Mark II has a 50.1 megapixel Exmor RS stack CMOS sensor and a Bionz XR processor that's capable of shooting stills up to 30 frames per second blackout free and built-in IBIS that offers eight and a half stops of image stabilization. It truly is the best blend that we've seen of giving you high resolution images at high frame rates that help to ensure that you get the right shot. One of the biggest updates in the Alpha One Mark II is the inclusion of a dedicated AI processor, which is used for subject recognition and tracking. This means that the camera will be able to recognize a variety of subjects, including humans, animals, birds, insects, cars, trains, and airplanes in both stills and video modes. If you have an Alpha 9 Mark III or an Alpha 7 R5, you're likely already enjoying the benefits of an AI processor, but the Alpha 1 II takes it up a notch by giving you an option where you can identify the subject automatically, which will save you time when you're out there shooting. Another major update to the camera is the ability to use the pre-capture feature, which continuously shoots images before you actually press the shutter button. You could program this in the camera to capture images from 0.03 to one second before pressing the shutter. And best of all, you could enjoy this feature up to 30 frames per second while still using full autofocus and exposure tracking. And you could shoot these in full resolution raw files so that you could tweak them later on in post. Now let's take a look at some of the ergonomic changes. And for me personally, this is where I really fell in love with this camera. It has many of the same ergonomic features of the Alpha 9 III, such as the refined grip and the speed boost button that can be customized in the camera menu. Being that this is the flagship Alpha series camera, it of course has a high level dust and moisture resistance so that you can feel confident using this camera in a variety of different environments. The Alpha 1 Mark II now has a four axis multi-angle LCD monitor that you could use to position the screen to get the perfect composition. Now my hands are fairly big and I really loved how this camera felt in my hands. Sony really nailed it here when it comes to balancing the ergonomics and the overall weight of the camera body. Moving on to the storage side of things, the Alpha One Mark II has dual CF Express Type A slots, which you'll want to use for fast action stills or video, but each of these slots can also take the more common SD card. The layout of the IO ports were also updated with separate doors for the headphone and the mic jacks. It also has an ethernet port, micro USB and USB-C, a full size HDMI port and a flash sync port. When it comes to the video capabilities of the Alpha One II, it could shoot up to 8K 30P video with 422 10-bit color depth, which utilizes 8.6K oversampling to give you that ultra high resolution video. You could shoot 4K up to 120 frames per second as well, all of which can be done using S-Log3 and S-Cinetone profiles. If you'd like, you could also import up to 16 of your own LUTs into the camera to give you a real-time preview of the final look of your video while you're shooting. The Alpha One II also has focus breathing compensation as well as active and dynamic stabilization. If you've never tried recording videos using dynamic stabilization, you need to check it out. It's as close to having the camera on a gimbal that you'll actually see outside of having your camera on a gimbal. Another feature that I was excited to see is that it now has support for UVC and UAC protocols. This simply means that you could take the Alpha One II and you could connect it to your computer with a USB cable and you could use it as a 4K webcam. This can be done without having to download any additional software. You simply just plug it in and you're ready to go. Like I mentioned earlier, I had the opportunity to shoot with this camera for a few weeks and I had a blast with it. I got to shoot some portraits in studio and on location with Caitlin and I took it out for a few early morning shoots to try my hand at some bird photography. I could tell you that at 30 frames per second, if you're shooting any kind of fast action or wildlife, you're gonna have an easy time trying to get the shot that you're going for. 
Now, if you're using it for any kind of portrait work like I did, or really anything that's slower paced, the 50 megapixel sensor on this camera is gonna give you stunning images. I also ended up shooting a video with this camera that we'll link at the end of this video for you to check out, but this camera is no slouch when it comes to video. I shoot most of my YouTube content in 4K at either 24 or 60 frames per second, and the Alpha 1 Mark II pumps out some beautifully clean files. So the Alpha 1 II will be available in mid-December, and if you have any specific questions about the camera, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them, and if you have a really good question, I might just go out and make a full video to help you out. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on everything that's new in the Alpha universe. And speaking of new, there was also a new lens that was announced. Check out the video that you see here on the screen to learn more about that, and I'll see you there.